Hi, I'm Christine Arti. Humpback whales were once nearly gone, with only about 10,000 left. Today, around 80,000 roam the oceans. But how did they pull off this comeback? That's what researchers wanted to understand. So they made a multi-year study of the east coast of Russia. Olga Filatova from the University of Southern Denmark led the research team. For five summers, the team documented humpback behavior and feeding patterns. When she first visited the region in 2000, Filatova searched for five years before spotting a single humpback. Now, researchers see them almost every day. That's a massive shift in a couple decades. The number one reason humpback whales rebounded was because commercial whaling was banned in 1986. But other whales have not made such a remarkable comeback. So the researchers wanted to find out what humpback whales were doing right. Her team discovered that humpbacks survived by being flexible eaters. Cut disappears, they switch to krill. Krill disappears, they switch again. Other whales, such as fin whales, stick to their favorite foods and often have to travel far to find them. But that implies a big cost in energy. Humpbacks simply stay put and adapt. Humpbacks are energy-saving specialists. They are not built for speed, so they rely on creativity instead. They have incredible feeding techniques, including bubble nets, group corralling, and trap feeding. As Arctic ice melts, humpbacks are pushing into areas where they have never been seen before. New waters, new feeding grounds, new possibilities. But not every whale benefits from a changing Arctic. Bowheads, belugas, and narwhals depend on cold waters and can't adapt as easily. So Filatova isn't worried about humpbacks. She said, I'm more worried about whales that can only live in Arctic waters. Humans banned commercial whaling, creating the conditions that allow species like the humpback whale to rebound. It remains to be seen if we can do the same for all the whale and Arctic species.